Thank you. Well, shall we pray? Father, we thank you. I'm so glad. I'm so thankful, Jesus. Save me. I want to thank you again today. It's like Roger said, I want to thank God for saving me last night. I thought, Lord, every one of us here ought to be thanking God for saving us again. I want to thank you for coming again this morning, applying the blood of Jesus Christ. As I was praying to you in the closet of prayer, you came again. The blood of Jesus Christ covered me. That touches me, Jesus. Oh, I want to thank you for the cleansing power. I want to help you. thank you for the help of the mighty God of Israel. I want to thank you for being the same. I want to thank you for loving me and all these people and the world. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Lord, you didn't have to have mercy on me. You didn't have to have mercy upon this church. You didn't have to have mercy upon the world, but you did while we were yet rebellious, while we were yet sinners. You died for us. You gave your life for us. I want to thank you this morning once again. I want to praise your name. I want to honor you. I want to delight myself in you, oh God. Oh, thanks be unto God for his unspeakable gift, Jesus Christ our Lord. Thank the Lord for the precious Holy Spirit that's here today to help us in our weariness, oh God, to help us in our stubbornness and rebelliousness. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit, for working with us. Thank you for drawing. Thank you for convicting us of sin, of righteousness, and of judgment. Thank you for showing us of things to come. Thank you of holy revelation. Thank you of your, for your anointing today. So we pray, Lord, may the enemy be rebuked and bound. May the darkness be driven back. May every heart know Jesus is close. He is here this morning. Oh, God, may we have the realization and sense of God's presence here. Oh, we thank you, Lord, that here, once again, you've paid us a visit. Thanks be unto God, the best of all, the Lord is with us. So we give your name the praise and the glory and the honor today. Lord, heal these that are sick. Let them be healed. Behold, be well, encouraged, lifted, strengthened. Drive back the enemy, drive back the darkness. Touch Sister Edith, we pray in Jesus' holy name. Lord, gather around her, we pray, and with mighty love and, and a holy healing, we pray in Christ's name. Praise you'll be quickened right now. May the Holy Spirit that lives within also quicken the mortal body. And touch others, Lord, that are sick mentally and emotionally. And, and uh, oh, God, spiritually, we pray, come and minister to the flock of God today. Oh, Lord, we're praying, praying for God's will in our nation, praying for God's will in the life of our president and his wife. Pray, Lord, you'd help him, give him, give him an, an anointing, Lord, in the remaining months in office. Hey, we pray, Lord, I, I pray, keep on speaking about God's will. Thank you for what I heard the other day and what we've heard many times. President Reagan speaking about our solution, our answer is in doing God's will. Oh God, we pray, help him, give him a precious sacred anointing to speak about the unsearchable riches of the kingdom of God. Oh Lord, give him wisdom, we know how to speak. Oh, we thank you and praise you today. Help our spiritual leaders. Be with those, Lord, that need our prayers today. Go around this world and minister to those, Lord, that are hungry and thirsty. Lord, mentally, physically, and emotionally, I pray that you'd feed them today. Oh, Lord, we're praying for God's will here in this place. May your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let it be, Lord, and may we truly know that you're our Father, that you care for us. Oh, blessed be the name of God forever and forever. In Christ's name we pray, amen.